This is Sophie Heller, and this is an ACT English punctuation question. This question is asking us to choose the right punctuation to have this golem and then this a figure part, which is going to introduce what the golem is. So let's look at our sentence to see what punctuation mark makes the most sense here. It tells us the Frankenstein monster, typical of this figure of the mad doctor, can be traced back to golem, and then it's going to introduce what a golem is, a figure that the Jews created from clay to lead them from oppression. So since we have this whole long phrase, which is the description of what exactly a golem is, we want to find a way with punctuation to connect it back to golem. And we want to do this without creating any sentence errors. So let's look at what we already have. We have a semicolon here, which is going to be wrong because you can only use a semicolon to connect two standalone phrases or sentences. So this a figure that the Jews created, this part, is a sentence fragment. So it can't be used in a semicolon construction. So look at choices three and four because they're pretty similar. So they are the same except one has no comma and one has this comma here before who. They're both gonna sound bad because it makes the sentence really awkward and clunky. So it'll say, Gollum, who was a figure that the Jews created from clay. It already sounds really awkward and wordy. On the ACT, we're gonna look to find the sentences that are the most concise and clear without any awkward wordy clunkiness. So these are both wrong. Choice number four is a little bit better, to be honest, because it has that comma there, but it's still on that who was is completely unnecessary. It can be avoided, so we don't need to use it. And we'll see in choice two that it doesn't have that who was, and it perfectly avoids this extra clunky two words by just having golem and then setting it apart with a comma and then describing what the golem is. It's this kind of figure. So choice two is going to be the correct way to modify the golem, so it's correct.